Hello, this is Eric Cunningham again. Last in the series on the uh, steam generating plant. Now this particular lesson, uh, since we're going to be talking about admin preferences and user preferences, this thing actually could be a standalone lesson. I um, want to show how all this good stuff has to be set up so that uh, Primavera will calculate things the, the way that uh, you'd be expecting. First under admin. Now, I realize most folks do not have uh, access to admin preferences, but they should at least ask the administrator about some of this stuff. So you click on it, admin preferences. Okay, general. First day of the week, Monday, yes, default duration means every time you throw a new activity in there, it's going to show up as five days and you can change it. Fine. Day limits, ID lengths, that's all pretty straightforward. Time periods, very important. The normal standard work week, month, and year for this particular company is the eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, and so forth. The key item here is this little box right here that you'll see it's checked. Use the assigned calendar to specify the number of work hours for each time period. Now that means if you assign a different calendar, say uh, six days a week, uh, 50, 50 hours a week, 10 hours a day, that will override your eight hours a day here. Otherwise, you can assign a 10 hour day calendar and you will not get what you're looking for. But this is very, very important. Earned value. Uh, let's not get into the, uh, uh, this area here uh, for, for today, but um, activity percent complete, that's perfect. Just, just wanna leave it like that. Now this, this is important. Um, even if you're not calculating earned value from Primavera, the uh, Primavera default is this one right here. Budgeted values with plan dates. Plan dates in Primavera, um, I, I don't know how many versions they've had problems with this, but these plan dates change. As simple as that. Um, it would take about a half hour to explain this thing fully. But um, the plan dates will control your weekly baseline bars, assuming that you're going to uh, set up a baseline for every week that you're progressing the project, or say for every month. To give you bars that uh, that you would expect, use the budgeted values with current dates. That'll give you the uh, interim baseline bars that that make sense to you. Um, you can uh, experiment with this. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I might do it later on in another in another uh, presentation. But uh, you can just flip between these two and uh, see what that does to your, to your interim baselines. But for now, let's just trust me and we'll use budgeted values with current dates. Close it down. User preferences. Okay, time units. This is normally, this, this is the normal way of doing it for, uh, unless you're working in a shutdown or unless you're working on a project that takes uh, 20 years in length. The unit of time, you have eight hours a day, 10 hours a day. That's perfect. Now down here, show, show as units duration. You want the guy working eight hours a day or you want him working four hours as they show here. Up above percentage, 50%. That's, if you're trying to work fast, these percentages get 
a, a little bit confusing. So it's much, much easier, much quicker to go on the four hours per day. So coming down, dates. That's a good one to go with. Usually you don't want to show time as it takes a lot of space, but every so often you should show the time simply because it's a good check to make sure you don't have activities starting at midnight or maybe at 12.35 p.m. It's a, it's a very, very good check to see if you have a problem. So, currency, email, assistance, resource analysis, um, open projects only, unless you want to go back to your uh, closed out projects and, and uh, uh, consider their resources. But uh, this is pretty much what, what most folks use. Time distributed data, time distributed data, remaining early dates. Calculations, the top one. Preserve the units, duration, and units over time for existing assignments when you're adding or subtracting resources. If you pick the bottom one, this one here where you're recalculating, the second you add or subtract a resource, your hours can jump all over the place. Um, again, it's according to duration type. But to avoid confusion, best just to work off of this one. And ask me and ask me. Now, that's about it. If this thing would close, that <laughs> doesn't want to close. I want to thank you for uh, listening and um, hope you've uh, gotten something from my presentations and uh, take care. Bye.